Hello everyone and welcome to set 7, let's play Valkyrie Profile 3, Rest. Okay, so, off screen I did do a few things. First and foremost, I did get, um, I believe my remaining shouts. Maybe missing one. Yep. I'm missing one, which is Kane's piece, but fuck that noise, right? But I did get up, uh, Dragon Aspect up to where I want to be, which is great! Um, that being said, I also... Leveled up my smithing uh, a little bit, enough to give me ebony level. Um, all I did with this, really, to get this up there was I went to a uh, a silver mine and mined the silver, smelted it out into ingots, and then made uh, jewelry. In which case, I then proceeded to sell, which is why I now have a lot more money as well. But with us reaching level uh, ebony rank, rank, I was able to craft ebony armor, which is actually the next level of the Valkyrie armor. Magicka, uh, whatever, whatever. So we're still good with that, so... Hooray, we finally have a new level gear, which is great! Which is also great, considering, um... Chris's, uh, signature armor is... Ebony armor! So, yes! Finally got to that tier. Um, uh, I went out and bought some potions with some extra money I had. Uh, about it, really. Um, I'll show you where the silver mine is, so you guys can get that as well if you want. Um... Since they've changed how um, uh, leveling up uh, smithing works a while ago, where it's no longer you make something and you get a set amount of EXP based off of the value, um, it's now set to where you get diminishing returns off the value at the higher level is. So let's say um, at level 5, you can gain you know like 3 levels by uh, making 20, uh, or not 20, uh, 10 iron daggers. At this level, you're lucky to get, you know, even a fourth of the EXP bar. So you have to make some uh, high-level stuff. Jewelry is great for this, especially uh, silver, gold, uh, equipment with diamonds inlaid. Uh, but, where is it? Here it is. This, um, Carthwaston, Carthwaston, um, is a small settlement right outside a silver mine. You go in there and there are seven uh, ore veins of silver. Go in there, smelt it down. If you have the deal like I do, which is the tweaks one, you get a shoot ton of VXP for uh, smelting down all that iron. I got like 44 iron ingots out of it all. Speaking of which, I forgot to mention last time that uh, tweaks thing, the tweak uh, crafting thing, um, it uh, changes the returns for ores as well, but it makes ingots heavier. So you can't go, you know, make a shit ton because you'll be, you know, walk you'll you'll be walking the rest of the way. Luckily I made it outside my house, so we're good. Anywho, um yeah, I like it. I also, with my uh weapon crafting mod, created this this beauty. It doesn't show considering it's uh technically doesn't have an in-game model for the inventory. But it is literally the bound bow, which I can equip and unequip however long I want. This is going to be Hrist's uh, signature bow once I get my enchanting and smithing up high enough. But for now, yeah. I'm also going to keep her helmet off most of the time because, I don't know, I like it better without the helmet. Okay, here, I'll show you the helmet. Full set. Looks good, but, yeah. Alright, let's get going. We are currently at... Uh, Ironbind Borrow. Now, I mentioned this a while ago, but there are um, two exceedingly rare enchantments. Like, you can find water, uh, water breathing and disease resistance like crazy compared to these two, what, these two enchantments. They are the Fiery Soul Trap, which gives you a, um, excuse me, a fire damage plus soul trap um, enchantment on your weapon. So you'll have two, two enchantments for the price of one um, equipped. The other is Chaos Damage. Chaos Damage allows you to have all three elemental attacks on your weapon simultaneous, simultaneously. Um, there are other ways to buff these enchantments as well, using the enchantment perk tree, as well as depending on what, what weapon you put it on. But for example, Chaos Tree, uh, the Chaos Damage thing will get an extra buff if you put it onto a Star Rim weapon, or at least the Frost one will. The frost portion of it will. So it's pretty cool to have. We're getting both those enchantments today. There are two locations in which you can find these enchantments. Uh, Ironbind Borrow 
in the base game will have the Fiery Soul Trap. It's the only place guaranteed to have it. Uh, you can find Fiery Soul Trap uh, Enchanted Weaponry very rarely in shops or even uh, in chests. This is the only place guaranteed to have it. Before we go on, I didn't want to get uh, annoyed while I was uh, grinding some stuff, so I decided to go into uh, easy mode again. All right, let's get going. Hey. Ugh, we should be inside loading up on treasure. Worry Scales here thinks we should wait, though. Don't get any ideas either. We were here first. Not without us, you aren't. I'm sure there's enough for everyone, after all. Come on, Beamja. We're going. You can't shake us off that easily. Let's see what's here. Alright, let's go. Let's get going. So the Bound Bow, by the way, has a really cool, interesting uh, effect. I found this out while I was playing as Mitsuki. If you, you can disenchant the Bound Bows to get the Bound uh, weapon effect. Uh, it, oh, shit. It doesn't do the uh, summoning thing. Oh, there we are. But what it does is it causes the uh, blue here. It'll cause, um, where's the Bound Bow? That light effect to appear, and your weapon will uh, be glowing. But it won't have the uh, ethereal flame bit. Which is really annoying, but it still gives a cool effect. It looks like you're actually summoning the weapon. So if you're role-playing a uh, Spellblade... Yeah. While I was off-screen, I also upgraded... Uh, one hand Sword. So this is now mastered. I now deal the best amount of damage with this without uh, further enchantments. I need to upgrade this one more time in 9 levels. And then get... Ooh, that was weird. Uh, this later on. <clears throat> How's it going? Be careful, you can't lose them, by the way. And I believe they're required for a quest here. Nope! The poison. Well, too bad for you. We're doing, uh, pretty good. I'm not sure if this guy's counts as companions or not, so I'm not sure if my uh, companion's insight will help. This is it. We found Gaffric's tomb. Alright, let's so, uh, sheath that. I already have a manual save outside, so we're all set to continue. Well, there must be a way through. Look around. Alright. It is right over there. All right, you first, lady. Ah, fuck that noise. I'm first. I'm wrist. Wrist, motherfucking Valkyrie. I know you're there. Do it. Fuck you. Ow, motherfucker. Okay. Luckily, I stocked up on healing shit. Boop. Alright. Collect bone meal, by the way, if you want to make the bone, uh, the bound shit, because, uh, huh, you need five of them for each. I plan on making bound arrows as well. Just because it fits well. Ow. Thank you, Rimja. Ow. I'm okay! Alright, we're doing good so far! Boom! Fuck you! That's having a mage on my side! Fuck off! Oh! Fuck! The way he hit that wall! Like that... I'll take that though! Healing bushes for the win. Uh, nothing else. Hopefully we don't have to worry about losing our gear again. Fucking Death Lord. Alright. Or Death Lords, I should say.
Alright. Quick save. This is where we serve. This is where we need to fight. Look at that. A trap if I ever saw one. Yep. Oh, I can't knock it off. Thank you. I ain't stupid. Alright, let's keep going. Ah, uh, here it is. Quick save. I was auto saving here. That's right. That's part our boat. What are you on about? Let's just get the treasure here and go. He's on that chair right there. Unfortunately, the chair is facing towards us, or the back of the chair is facing towards us. I should say. See if I can get that, uh... Ooh! They chat weapon first! It disappeared, fuck. Alright, kill Ga Gathric, cause he'll have, uh... He'll, uh... All the other things will die when he dies. Nope! Fuck you, hit hard! Right. Boom. Fuck off. All right. Did you have the weapon on you? If you black soul gems. Nope. There it is. All right. Give me the thing. All right. Vunaba. I should thank you. I knew the girl wouldn't be strong enough to help you kill Gathric alone. There's just one more thing I need from you. To fully absorb Gathric's power, I require a blood sacrifice. Oh. Blood should be good enough. This will go easier for us both if you don't bother fighting back. You're cute! Boom! Head off! That. Alright, a broom jaw. Uh, keep my daughter safe, and you earn both your freedom and the damned book you're so, you want so badly. But by the divines, if harm comes to her, I'll make sure everyone I do business with will hear about what you did in Black Marsh. Ooh. He fucked up somewhere. <laughs> oh, that armor. Looks so cool. Did she, uh, die? There she is. Father never trusted Beam. I always thought he was just being overprotective. I don't know. Beamja has looked after me since I was knee-high to him. I need to rest. And then I think I'm going back to High Rock. Go on without me. I think I need to be alone for a while. Alright, hey, sure. <laughs> I, guess I, I guess I didn't really need to use this thing. I thought I did, but, uh... Alright, where's the, uh... There it is! Let's get out of here, then! Do, 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 do. So we now have the fiery soul, uh, the fiery soul capture effect, which I'm gonna put onto my weapons. Later on, of course. I'm probably gonna grind out, uh, enchanting while I'm gone. Speaking of which, you probably should go do that quest for it, too. Alright. Get the box. Dock us in. Oop. Let's become ethereal. Prime? There we go! Okay then, so that's that. Uh, let's go do another little side quest. Mm. Yeah. There's a way to get enchanting. Um, an enchanting master. Without having to go to the College of Winterhold. 
It's also very helpful because it gives us a extra oomph against men or uh, female characters, depending on the gender of your character. Interestingly enough, in this fighting RPG game where you think you should play a male character just because they're a little more hardy, um, you get a lot more if you play as a female. Alright. I cannot best you. What? Oh, vampires! Always vampires. Let's kill you! Kinda hard to. There we go! It's really hard to hit someone when they're, you know, yeah. Let's uh, sleep at the inn and make it daytime. Now there we are. No shipments this coming in. Has plenty of. This is the Silver Blood Inn. Like room to rest in. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Lock us in. I'll show you to your room. I think it's this one. Yep. Remember. All right. So memory serves, there are two ways to start this quest. Um, one is to talk to a beggar outside about stealing the statue of Debella. The other is just to walk into the shrine of Debella. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Alright. We're, we're going to become an agent of Debella, so. Who is the, um... Oh, did you need something? Uh, what was she? The divine of, um, love and beauty. Kind of ironic for a uh, Harist Valkyrie to become one. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Do, 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 do. Quick save. I'm going to try to do it this way. I've never tried it this way. I've heard that you can do it this way, though. So we'll see. Hey, Santa. The sisters are communing with Debella. They can't be disturbed. Eh, fuck They'll you. Gotta make sure she doesn't see me, of course. <sighs> it's an easy lock. Should be... Shouldn't be having too much, as much trouble. There it is. Alright, so... A little more to the right, I think. So, a little more to the left. Alright, so about here. There we are! Memory serves, all we have to do is go talk to them. Quick save. You specifically. What are you doing? In yeah, there we go. Stay where you are. The mother will deal with you. Here she is. Hey. And just what do you think you're doing? Unfortunately for you, we don't allow the uninitiated into the inner sanctum. You have committed a breach and must pay the penalty. Normally, a period of servitude. Luckily for you, there are more pressing matters. We could make an example of you, but perhaps you could be put to better use. The ceremony you so rudely interrupted was the exalted protocol of the Debellin Sibyl. I don't expect you to know what that means. Suffice to say that our Sibyl was recently lost to us. Through the protocol, we have seen the home of the next Sibyl, to the north in a small village pressed against the stone. If you can travel there and retrieve our young Sibyl, your transgression will be forgiven. We believe the place in our vision to be Karth Waston. Now move quickly. The girl must be brought to the temple as soon as possible. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Heart of Debella. Let me get just, uh, oh, wrong button. Alrighty then. I also got a, uh, let, uh, uh, letter. Yeah, a letter about the, um, Colbjorn Barrow. We are ready to continue the next level. You need something? Devella's blessing. Yeah, yeah, you too. But, um, doing this 
gives us access to, I believe, Orla it is, or maybe it's Hummel, who will uh, actually teach us enchanting, which is great, considering enchanting is one of the more annoying, uh, uh, one of the more annoying, um, uh, uh, skills to level up. So with this, I just go boop, 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 level up, I uh, get ranking up by five, um, level up, bring it up by five again, and then just continue doing that type of stuff. So yeah, it's a uh, pretty big and helpful so long as you have you know the coin. All right, we need to talk to uh, someone here. You? Finally, both of my. Oh my! You want to talk to Enmon about that? Yeah, sure. Where's he at? Mm -hmm. Edmund, I think it says his name was. No. No. Ah, oh, inside. This is the silver mine I told you about, by the way. <clears throat> Where you at, mate? There you are. How you doing? Don't have anything to say to you, stranger. You're not from here. And we don't need to be talking. Damn it, woman. Are you trying to taunt us? Our daughter, Theotra, was taken from here. The Forsworn descended and they didn't touch anything else, just our little girl. It was the Forsworn from Broken Tower. Never been much trouble before. What's it to you? She... Really? Well, that's... I, I, I wouldn't have dreamed. Of course, we need her in Markarth, then. I'll come with you. You heard... Probably right. Just hurry, please. Who knows what those things are doing to her? They're just people. Uh, all right. So, um, we first come here. They're actually bandits, um, extorting them, basically saying, "Well, if you get some money, we'll protect you from the real bandits out there." You know. We need to do something about these um, they were really extorting money out of them, so they asked uh, asked me to help them. I basically walked up to him and said, leave. And I'm like, okay, oh, sure, whatever, don't hurt us. Yeah, that's kind of what happened. Let's flash out all the Sonder Towers. I'm about to level up, too. I'm going to save that level up until after I get the, uh, the ability to do the enchantment uh, leveling up. But uh, other than this, the only other enchanting, too, that actually, actually is of worth <laughs> is the enchanting... Um, teacher over at the College of Winterhold, which we will do a lot later on. The start way? Yeah. It'll probably be sometime after we finish um, Companions, I think. Not certain yet, though. Alright. Luckily, if you come from this way, by the way, there's a shortcut you can take to get to, uh, where she's at. Which is just literally down this. Prime? Woo! I'm okay. Hi. Shut the hell up. This is where she's being kept. So I know a shortcut here. Bound bow. Aim and fire. How'd I miss that? There we are. All right, he's coming. Do 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 do. Spin day. Yeah, bring it, bitch. <laughs> you think you're a threat, don't you? You're not even close. Fun side note for thief characters. If you sneak up behind them, you can pickpocket them. And take their heart. Doing so instantly kills them. through what they said. I'm touched by the gods? Oh, uh, you're touched alright. 
I've heard stories about the wonders of the Great Temple in Markarth, but I never dreamed that I would even get to see it. I am honored to be called for this duty. Please, lead on. You don't talk like a normal kid. Kid. <laughs> Alright, make sure all the clean- all my diseases are cured, cured. From what we can gather, by the way, it seems like they were trying to perform a ritual to, uh, corrupt her, I'm assuming. Alright, that new shit. Uh, oh. There we go. Not blind. Well, somewhat. Need that for later. The ferment, don't need to worry about that. Okay. Let's crouch. And hopefully, don't have to worry about any uh, force one outside. And fast travel to Markarth. Uh, of course. Good. I'll try to see how far away I can get. Uh, so fun being uh, cheeky with this type of thing. <clears throat> I'll say that's a quick way of getting that quest done. Otherwise you have to go through the entire bloody thing. Which, by the way, if you're playing a vampire, this is a great place to level up that vampire skill tree. Just come here and blow everyone the fuck up. Oh, okay. Fortunately, the little brat follows you. Alright. I'll be back here later on to, uh... Uh, fully upgrade. Or do the upgrade thing. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. I've done your penance. Do, 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 do. Watch your brat. Hmm? You, you found her. I can't believe it. Let the girl come with me and we can begin her preparation. I will send word to her family that she is in good hands. You've truly earned the blessing of Debella, child. Prostrate yourself before her altar, and she will bestow her gift. Do what in front of her altar? <laughs> yes. Ah, fucked up shit. But yeah, come back here again next day and you'll be able to, uh, use her as a teacher. Which I'll be doing off screen because it's boring as hell to watch someone teach. Or be taught. What can I do for you? Uh nothing. I'll see if I can time this at the same time as her. <clears throat> no. Nope. I'm a little ahead of her, but oh well. Gin, drink the water. And we're now on Agent of Debella. You do more combat damage against the opposite sex. And since we're since pretty much everything every enemy in this game is male. Yeah. There's still those females out there, but yeah. Alright, so we got all that said and done. Let us go back to uh Souls Time. Do 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 do. There it is. Okay, so we got that said and done. Um like I said before, we'll be getting the other, uh, the chaos damage one. Uh, before we finish the set as well. That one's gonna be a little bit more annoying to get. Just a touch. But we should be fine. We have enough healing shit to, uh, help us over. And have an emergency level up for, uh, extra HP and MP. Talk to Captain Galland if you're looking for the I'm fine, I'm fine, don't worry. Oof. Go up your bar borrow. I'm so glad I'm finally done with the orca shit. I like the orcish armor, it looks really cool. But Ebony. Oh, so beautiful. Quick save. And you got a nice little uh, camp going on here, mate. And now you're back. Great. Just great. Motherfucker, I'm financing everything. You better be kissing my fucking boots. Draugr. 
I mean, we should have expected it, right? What else do you find in these damned crypts but waves and waves of Draugr? At least six of the diggers are dead. The rest of them ran off, and I don't blame them. You've had some luck with these things before. Do you think you could go back in? See if anyone's still alive. Sure, why not? Uh, first things first. I'm going to uh, sleep about 24 hours and uh, recharge my dragon aspect. I'm mostly just waiting for, another, uh, waiting for it to be daylight out. That should be enough. Dragon aspect with its um, extra defense, extra damage. Kind of good to have. Alrighty. <clears throat> Excuse me. Clear out this section a little bit, which is nice. Give me access to this little chesty chest. Alrighty. Ooh. Sorry, mate. Alright, how's it going then? More jogger, lovely. Luckily, my gear is a lot better than it was before. Oh, jump. Wrist. Jump. Good girl. Oh, get bent. Go. Boop. God, I love playing Chris. You're so badass. Hi. Get bent, Death Lord. Come on, you can die now. There we go. You can kind of hear it, that uh, sound, the chanting. There is a um, word wall directly beneath us, underneath all this ash. Which we'll get later on. Ooh, sorry, mate. Down you go. Fuck off. Cute. All right, pull the lever. You! Mother! This was right there. Uh, put that back to favorite. Alright, let's go full on uh, battle mode. That's not the shot I wanted. There it is. Fuck off, bitch! Just die already! Ass hat! Alright, so pull this lower. Which opens that. Fire Draugr. Oh, so badass! God, I love wrist. She's so awesome. Fuck you. Alright. Drink a potion. I think it was the middle one. Alright. Top. Bottom. Nope. Middle. Not 
There we are. Her dragger. Draggers, I should say. Don't want a beard. Oh, hello. Alrighty then. We're not done here. There should be. There it is. Gives us one of the rings. Uh, the ring of necromancy. Which does... Where's that? <clears throat> Whenever a creature you have reanimated takes damage, they explode for 50 points of frost damage and die. Fuck, that's a bomb. But there should be another one we can access here as well. Maybe two, I'm not 100% certain on that. Let's see here. That path's sealed off. This is obviously a uh, uh, rotating wall. But I believe you have to access to that room over there to access that one. So yeah, we're not getting in there. But if memory serves, uh, two more uh, digs, and we should have access to uh, the file chamber. Maybe three. Not hundred percent on that though. I think the max is uh, ten thousand gold. Quite pricey, but this gear is worth it, especially if you're an enchanter. Holy hell, is it worth it? Any news? I should have figured. Damn. Well, at least we can get back to work. But hazard pay keeps piling up, and this won't be getting any cheaper. I'm going to hire some mercenaries this time, too. Having some people around who know how to fight, sure. Well, it'll set the miners at ease, and hopefully keep them alive. But they won't be cheap, either. It's going to hit 3,000 this time, I'm afraid. Have you got that on? We're going to be making this back 50-fold, partner. Trust me, Andy. I'll go hire a new crew and some brawny types to keep them safe. Come back and check in on them. Nothing can stop us this time. Okay, so two things real quickly. First and foremost about this fucker. If I had, um, if I was in his shoes, and we came across, um, this one. Uh, if we came across Draugr's, immediately, I would go and buy mercenaries to protect us. Or straight up guards. Uh, to protect the miners. I wouldn't wait until after all that's said and done. Anything good? I haven't really checked this out yet. This can be a oh. slow business. Digging takes time. Come around later and I'll have something more real. Yeah, you can check his uh, diaries too if you want to. But now, on to the Chaos Weapon. Now, unfortunately, we will have to destroy a unique weapon to uh, get the Chaos Enchantment. However, comma, thanks to a certain, deal, a certain mod I have downloaded, I'm able to recreate it if I want to. Which I'll end up doing. Alright. So for those that don't remember, this quest we got once we came outside um, Raven Rock. Uh, we came across a guy being attacked by uh, some Ash Spawn. We killed him, we found the note, and we gave it to him and talked about uh, Captain Felix Curious. He's supposed to be dead, but apparently he isn't. He apparently he's waging war on Raven Rock. So we have to go save our people. Well, we have to save Raven Rock from the uh, Hordes of the Undead. Hmm. So let's go do it. Kind of glad I didn't waste my uh, dragon aspect on them. Because this is going to be kind of annoying. Men, an invader has entered the fort. Ow. Fort Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire! Fort Frostmoth, huh? 
God, these guys are horrifying. There's a glitch that makes them all glowy. Uh, fortunately, I haven't seen that in the uh, special edition.